Okay, this is the new Pelican fuselage and wing. We've designed it so that we can ship it overseas in a smaller box since the other one was costing a lot more. But let me show you what the difference is between it and the old Pelican. First of all, you can see how narrow the fuselage is. You can also see that the rudder and elevator have been downsized. Also, all of the radio gear is mounted along one side. Motor is on the nose on this plane. It's so light that the motor has not had any injury with all of the crashing and other things that we've been doing. I did have to put a half ounce of lead on the nose, but that's partially because I left the battery back farther so I could under the center of gravity so that I could try different batteries without having to do other modifications in the plane. But the uh, plane flies fantastic. It's very easy to fly and with a 2S battery and a 2812-1534 motor on it, it's just the right amount of power that it's not going, it's not jumping all over the place. But I'm just using a 2S battery on it. I've got two of the Metal Gear uh, MG90s on it. I do have a larger uh, speed control on it because it's what I had that would do uh, the two cell and the three cell. And I just have a micro receiver that's in that slot right there. The, uh, it's, it's otherwise almost the same plane as the previous Pelican, except for the narrow fuselage and the smaller tail. There's also a slight motor angle change on the nose, but uh, extremely good flying plane. I think you'll really like it.